getting ready to take the heads off here um at least the front one that's probably all i have time for this evening the cams have to come out uh so you're gonna have to take care to keep everything as it is and was and i was really surprised i thought there'd be um bearing shells in here but uh it just appears to be inherent to to the cap so uh that's how that is uh all right well anyhow i'm gonna take off the pull both these cams keep everything in order so I can get to the head bolts. Oh, also, there's a water manifold that crosses back across. So just hunt and find. I mean, that one's nice and easy to get to there. Um, I think it was a 12 millimeter. There is, of course, one down in here that you have to come in. You can get. It looks like it's easy enough access to come in from underneath with an extension. And I'm sure there's something similar back over here. I haven't even gotten over there yet, but I'll need to. Uh, because there's a stud in there. Um, you know, I mean, I, nah. Yeah, it's going to have to come straight up. I was thinking I could pull up on it and slide it forward a little bit. But uh, let's not fool with, with that. So this manifold for the thermostat housing and the water crossover between both heads that needs uh, to come off as well all right sun is going down and it is time for the big reveal here let's pull this off and see what we see well there's all that from the compression tests there's all the uh oil back and forth well transmission fluid that i was pouring in there to do the test so that's why it's in between all of those and i see a little bit getting into here the end cylinder here and that one had good compression um let's see Man, that ain't nothing for a, uh, <laughs> like, a barely, barely there head gasket. Um, let's see. I'm hoping this is all on the camera. As you can see, in between the cylinders, you know, if there's stuff going back and forth. I think it must have blown. Maybe it blew on the, must have blown on the top. It was, it's dry in here, and then there's oil everywhere there. So it must just have blown across the top. I'll have to check and see, make sure the head isn't, uh, head isn't warped. I don't see any signs of it. You know, it looked like it was okay on the bottom side of the gasket. It looked like the problem was on the top side of gasket so I'm gonna lift this out of the way and then and then set it down and turn it over and, and look all right so again this is the front head and this must be all the oil from, or transmission fluid, when I was doing the compression checks. And, you know, it's soaking wet everywhere. Uh, but here it's dry. And this might have just been from when I lifted it up, lifted it loose and started sliding it around. It could have just worked that in there. So I was kind of expecting this to be dry all the way around. Um and then this is the mirror uh, of it, so this would fit. This would be the side touching the uh, the block, and it, uh, you know, I don't think it blew on the bottom. I think it started leaking across the top, so I'm going to have to really check the head for, make sure it's straight and square, and make sure it didn't 
warp the head, and it's simple enough with a straight edge. So there was uh, no water down in the cylinders, so that's good. So it looks just like it was um, a compression. The problem was in the compression in between the, the ceiling of the compression in between the cylinders and does not look like it was a water related issue although that pesky T fitting which I can't really reach and get to back there can we see it but I think that's what caused the whole thing that this broke the water got out and that would explain the water in the cylinders uh, and then it uh, blew the head gasket. I got everything wiped down and looking at this, see that discoloration there and there. And then we have this here in between the cylinders. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong, but that looks to me like, I mean, gen I mean, usually when a head gasket blows or any kind of gasket, you could really see, um, you know, a big pattern, but, um, that could be, you know, signs of leakage in between the cylinders, you know, and maybe the head kind of moving around a little bit. I mean, it does look a little sketchy right there. And we know what happened, you know, I mean, we know it was blowing compression between the cylinders these two on this bank this one was holding good at 150 um but uh you know it did look like there was some signs of infiltration there too and then the other bank the back bank um you know that was 30 psi and blowing in between all the cylinders so get that one off tomorrow or soon In the rapidly disappearing light, I'm going to see if I can pop this head off. Uh, this, this water crossover manifold, there are three nuts and, uh, and or studs. What happened is sometimes the stud will come out with the nuts. But anyhow, there's three on each side uh, on the back of each head. Uh, make sure and get all three off of each side so six total and then you can just kind of find a good leverage point to press I think I was I don't remember where I was somewhere in the middle or maybe I rocked a little bit on each end and I'll do a close-up on this later but down in here uh, where the water inlet connects and goes all the way to this passage over here. It's got an O-ring on this uh, center T portion of this manifold, uh, and it's just pressed in, uh, and it nicely and gingerly comes out. And like anything, if it doesn't come out, if it doesn't come out uh, nice and easy, stop and along on that theme there was a a lone rogue non-head bolt bolt bolting down the head to the block in the very back here uh so i found that while uh, just trying to find the the other third nut on the back side here the things are kind of well well hidden they're easy access you can find you can feel and find them easier and get to them with a extension uh e easier than you can actually see them so all right well, let's see if i've got everything loose and oh yeah yeah look at that yeah, look at that. Lifted right off. I think all wires to all sensors are disconnected. Um, so let's see. It's not it's not too terribly heavy, but it's 
heavy enough to reach across. So I'm going to lift this up. Yep. All right. Yay. It is. I'm free. I'm free. All right. So set this out of the way and then I will grab. I'm going to stop and then grab the camera. All right, so nothing, you know, terrible, awful that I can see so far. Uh, you'll see I'm going to just shine the light on it because I'm holding the camera with one hand and this light with the other since it's very duskish outside. But let's see. I'll come in close. You see the um, in between the cylinders there... It's actually too much glare, too much light. Ah, there we can see it. See how the oil is in between the cylinders? It's actually like that on this other side. It's just not showing up as well. But anyhow, um, again, remember, I poured some transmission fluid in there to do a compression test, and whichever cylinder I would uh, put it in, you know, the compression went up, but then it was blowing out of the intake for the adjacent uh, cylinder. So you can see there where the compression was going in between cylinders. So, you know, what, you know, had like 30 something pounds of compression and then you'd put a little bit of fluid in there and it'd go up to 150, but it was blowing out the adjacent cylinder. So, uh, yeah. And I think what happened, if notice when I pulled it, there was oil kind of everywhere doesn't appear to have done anything any damage to the block but you know it looks like it just blew the head gasket uh in not only in between the cylinders but it looked like it blew to uh the outside world as well but it uh, uh it didn't have any water left in it so it couldn't uh um you know, it wasn't blowing, it wasn't blowing water out all around the block or the exhaust or anything. Both heads are off. We've confirmed the issue here. I do not believe there to be any further issues with the block, but I'll be checking it with a straight edge and the heads uh, for squareness and you know, just to see they're not warped or anything. And we'll proceed with the, uh, after I, I do want to pull the, the pan off and take a look under there. And we'll, uh, you know, start moving forward again on it.